I write for our Fusion Pro Scooters and today I'm going to give you guys a quick little rundown on the Fusion Saber Fork. Uh, this is a 2018 Z series fork. I'm just going to basically give you guys a quick little rundown on what it can do uh, and then also I'm going to show you guys how you can set up the IHC compression it comes with. So let's get it done. Alright guys, so first things first, uh, it is an aluminum fork so you're saving a bunch of weight on this thing. Uh, it's super light, super strong. Personally I've ridden this thing for probably four or five months now and I have seen very very little issues with them. Um, they do hold 120 millimeter wheels so if you wanted to throw uh, any type of 120 on there it'll be able to hold it. Uh, also runs an IHC compression so you got the bolt uh, integrated here through the top. These forks come in uh, this high polished and a black for the aftermarket uh, in aluminum and then if you get one of the uh, Z series completes like the Z250 or the Z300 you're going to get a gloss black uh, cast steel version of this same fork. If you guys wanted to run pegs this is a great fork for it due to the fact that there's nothing interfering with where your peg would meet the fork over here. Uh, it just lays super flush. The fork is 3D forged uh, so it's super nice CNC'd out aluminum. Machining super good. Uh, no welds. No issues where anywhere it's going to crack, anything like that. Fork tube is super solid. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that hole right there, that's as thick as that hole goes. So that little hole is the only metal taken away from your fork. So your fork tube is actually super thick for it being an IHC fork. That doesn't compromise any of the weight. Uh, all it does is just add strength. It's still a super light fork for it being IHC. And then I'm going to show you guys real quick just kind of how to throw it into uh, a deck basically to set up your IHC compression if this is the fork you guys buy aftermarket or something like that and you just have a couple questions on setting up IHC. So we're going to set our fork to the side and then I have the Fusion Z375 um, zigzag style polished dip deck uh, and we're going to throw the fork through this deck. So basically uh, step one will be make sure you guys have this crown race that's sitting on here. Uh, they come kind of like on the fork so you're not going to have to worry about that. Uh, make sure that's on there, and then you're going to grab one headset bearing, throw that baby on there, and then this is when it goes through the bottom of the deck. Make sure it sits nice and flush in there, just like that. And then you'll get one more top bearing for that. Press that baby in there, make sure it's nice and flat. And then you'll get your centering ring. That goes on next, tapered side down. And then you'll get your top cap. Fusion with their IHC makes an IHC top cap, so you're able to run this thing um, without kind of putting the space or the sleeve into the top cap like some of the other companies. Next up comes your sleeve, slide that thing on there, and then your cap. Cap it off at the top, grab your compression bolt, and then thread it in there. And then a little pro tip for you guys, you want to tighten your headset to the point where it's a little bit stiff with no bars because the weight of the bar will help your kind of fork spin within your deck. Um, so to get a nice dialed scooter, tighten it a little bit more than you think you would need to for it to be dialed because the weight of your bars does have an effect on how it spins through your headset. After that, you guys can throw, like I said, any 110, 120 millimeter, even 100 millimeter if you really wanted to, uh, wheel on this thing. So basically you just take your wheel that you have, whatever it is, slide it through, drop the axle in, and tighten the bolt. Once it's all tight, you guys now have the Fusion Saber Fork equipped on your scooter. Um, if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. We'd love to help you guys out, have answer any questions you guys have. Um, but yeah, it's a super good looking fork, super flush with all the decks. Uh, I've tried it on a couple different decks and it just sits super flush right in this area. So when you look at it, looking at it from the top, it's not super bulky or anything like that. It just has a really clean look. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. And There'll be more kind of part reviews and installations coming soon, so comment what you'd want to see next and just stay tuned for the next video.